The ferry ramp lowers and I'm back on the continent, given a VIP welcome, complete with an escort from the French port authorities. As it is often the case, things didn't quite go to plan. Thinking of taking a boat to Dunkirk, I was stuck on a very slow check-in queue at Dover, where they seem to have a system that involves shifting a lot of paperwork. Uh, it's kind of going back to the 20th century. Anyway, the guy at least was kind and he moved me onto a boat to Calais. So here I am in beautiful Calais and uh, we'll find my way to Dunkirk with a bike. It's about 30 kilometers. So I guess I've got plenty of time. So there's no rush. Let's go and let's learn being patient. Things start to look a little different and a new language fills the air. It truly feels like I'm beginning this journey. I get butterflies in my stomach and a thrilling excitement that always accompanies the first pedal strokes of a new adventure. A few wrong turns and my odometer is at 106 kilometers, but the last sign says uh, four kilometers to Bruges, or Brugge, should I say, like they prefer to call it around here. So I'm really happy to have done the long ride almost finished and looking forward to visit the city which is it's meant to be very pretty and interesting and the sun is out and the ride has been really really good I've been along this canal for quite a while and from the look of it Belgians seem to have uh, at least in this part of Belgium they have a very good network of cycleways, a bit like Holland. In the darkness when I'm stumbling And I don't know what to do When it all feels over
Today I'm on my way to Antwerp and again following a very nice cycle route. Uh, I didn't realize but this part of Belgium is definitely on par with, uh, with Holland and uh, I suppose Denmark although I've never been there. Uh, I just find cycleways everywhere and since I came into Belgium I've hardly had to, to deal with traffic, apart from when going around the towns and cities, of course. But even there, you know, they have cycleways everywhere. So it's just quite amazing. And uh, the weather has been very Northern European one. So I had a lot of uh, showers. But so far I've been really lucky. It rained mostly at night when I was camping or uh, when I was staying in hostels. During the day, all I got so far is just a drizzle. Uh, but it's not been great, you know, I haven't had a day of, uh, with a blue sky and nice weather. And it's actually opened up a bit now, which is good. I also show you the changes I've done on my setup. I wasn't really happy uh, with this top bag here when I started. I had put it this way and the tent was on top, uh, sideways. I just decided let's try to put it this way. The reason why initially I didn't put it that way is that I wanted to have access to these bags. Um, this way, of course, means that if I want to take things out, I would need to remove it. Uh, but, you know, I'll, uh, I'll figure out uh, how to put things in the bags that don't actually um, need access all the times. So, so that would be fine. And I really like these uh, rock straps. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, I just bought them myself. I've got two of them. And I really like the way that they tie on the rack of the bike. And you can just uh, pull the strap and just tie it tighten the bags so I've got one there and there's one at the back as well so the bag is safe and the tent of course also um, it's much more stable this way because it can slide a bit down and uh, this is also something I brought with me is a bike cover uh, which I thought maybe is a waste of weight and a waste of space but I actually think is really useful especially in this climate where it's raining quite a bit and very often I have to leave the bike out at night and I find that the cover is really a very good uh, protection uh, for the bike. The other thing I find useful about it is that when I, if I park the bike, uh, and sometimes in a hostel they would have like a uh, reasonably safe space, um, but I might leave, you know, the front bags, I have things that I don't need if I'm staying in a hostel, for example, so I can leave those there. But if I cover them uh, with this one and I cover the bike, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, a, a motorbike or something, something it's covered anyway, so it's not uh, so tempting, let's say, for someone who is, who's got uh, in intentions. So um, I think it's quite a good, you know, carry, carrying all the weight I am, this is hardly anything. So I'm happy I took it with me. So just a few kilometers left for Antwerp, where I will stay one night in a hostel and visit a bit the town, and then moving soon into Holland where I will visit my friend Menno, hopefully, if everything will work out. So enjoying the trips very much so far. So I hope you'll keep following and you'll enjoy the content I produce. So let's go. I had a dream once I kept it close. It seems so important to have it all then. To believe that I needed to be someone To actually be someone Everyone else seemed to get it right But now I'm the cool kid All weird Not chasing superficial things That's clear Ooh, I've got cool friends Dead strands They always see through them but now I'm the cool kid, all weird Not chasing superficial things, that's clear Ooh, I've got cool friends, dead strands They always see through them 